weekend, more asylum seekers entered Canada illegally in places like Emerson, Manitoba, and Hemingford, Quebec. The municipality of Emerson, Mr. Speaker, has now formally requested the government provide more resources for border security and public safety. Will the government answer the calls for help from communities like Emerson? Will it develop a plan to enforce and, if necessary, strengthen our laws to stop illegal border crossing? <coughs> The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Speaker, I'm sure we all share a common interest in ensuring the integrity of Canada's borders and the enforcement of Canadian laws. Uh, indeed, the RCMP and the CBSA, uh, as well as the Immigration Department, are working seamlessly and relentlessly together on those two objectives, ensuring the integrity of Canadian borders and the enforcement of Canadian laws. If CBSA or the RCMP are to advise us that they need further resources in order for them to do that job effectively, we will listen very carefully to their advice. Those are very good words, but people in Manitoba, in these border communities, are asking the federal government to provide help to deal with this influx of illegal people coming across the border. These are community resources, and in many times they are actually volunteer first responders. People running across farmers' fields illegally cannot continue. It's not safe for the people who are running across the fields. It's not safe for the community. So, Mr. Speaker, what is the government going to do to provide support to the communities and to stop this illegal activity? The Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, uh, the CBSA and the RCMP are constantly scrutinizing the situation. They have already made some adjustments within their internal resources uh, to ensure that they have the, the personnel and the tools in place to, uh, to enforce Canadian laws, to keep Canadians safe, to attend to the safety of the, of the asylum seekers as well. Uh, Mr. Speaker, one thing we won't do is what the previous government did in elim eliminating the health benefits available to asylum seekers and making the condition of vulnerable people even more vulnerable. The Honourable Member for Provence. Mr. Speaker, over the past several days, 35 miles across the border from the United States into Canada near Emerson, Manitoba, in my riding of Provence. The residents of Emerson have been doing everything they can to assist the migrants and the authorities in dealing with this influx. However, the Minister of Public Safety has been missing in action and needs to assure Canadians that our borders are secure. Can the Minister explain to the people of Emerson what action he is taking to restore and maintain the integrity of our borders? The Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, may I uh, repeat, for, first of all, the thanks and congratulations uh, to the Honourable Gentleman's constituents for the manner in which they have responded to this situation. As Commissioner Paul Paulson told this Honourable Member earlier today, the RCMP, the CBSA, the IRCC and other Canadian agencies are working seamlessly and relentlessly together to achieve the objectives of border integrity and public safety. If they require more resources to do that job, they will certainly let us know.